This router has Wi-Fi 7 and can reach speeds of 2500 megabits per second on Wi-Fi with a pretty good range. It's got 7 LAN ports of 2.5 gigs and even some cool RGB aural lights here on the front logo. And it's called Asus ROG Strix GSB 18000, which is quite a long name. It has 7 2.5 gig ports at the back, which will allow us to connect up to 7 machines simultaneously with a total bandwidth of 20 gigabits, which is huge. So I believe that this is a router for someone which is really demanding in terms of the bandwidth and speeds that wants to have between machines, either computers or NAS, and it's probably a gamer, but we will talk about that as well. Now, in terms of Wi-Fi, here on the office in the same room, it reaches about 2000 to 2500 megabits per second on speeds, which is awesome, in the next room with a few walls between and an area of about 80 square meters, it gets around 1000 megabits per second. Now going outside in the backyard about 20 meters away in a straight line with one wall in between and an open area of about 200 square meters it gets about 500 megabits per second on the place which is more far away. So on the same floor I would say that the speeds that we get and the coverage that we get is awesome. Now when we move to the above floor which is the first floor in the room right above to my office here it gets about 80 megabits per second which is quite a drop. Now if we move to the balcony which is near the stairs so it has a lot of barriers right over there it will reach 10 to 35 megabits per second and in the room behind which is my living room it's getting 10 to 20 megabits per second. So this will be the limitation I didn't test out on any other area because I was getting this kind of speeds, which is great on the same floor, but we had a huge drop when moving above floor. And we have tested other Asus routers with less features that have a better coverage. Actually, a few weeks ago, we saw the BD4, I will leave a link down below, which is meant for the outside, which I'm not sure, but you can compare with that video. I believe that in terms of the coverage of Wi-Fi, it was bigger, but it missed in some features that this one as. So it depends on what we are looking for. Now looking at the setup is something really simple that we have seen from previous devices from ASUS. We just need to take it out of the box and we've got the router, the accessories, plug it in, download the app and follow the on-screen steps and in about four to five minutes we've got everything running with multiple Wi-Fi networks that we can manage. But with Wi-Fi 7, that old situation of having to manually connect to 2.4 or 5 gigahertz or 6 gigahertz, forget about it because the router automatically connects to the best available band depending on the device that we are using. Now on the mobile app, we can check and change a lot of settings. We have access to quick shortcuts, control the RGB colors and animations that we can set to a static color, several color presets, or even and turn it off. It also shows our network speed, the CPU and RAM usage, how many devices are connected and our network structure. There's a game mode option that gives us traffic priority to the phone running the app. So we can play even with a lower ping. It also includes the family protection features and all the advanced configuration options that we have seen in other Asus ROG routers and it's super super complete. Now basically we can set up our network in any way that we want since everything is on our ends. And this is a router designed for an office with a lot of machines, in my opinion, of course, or a home with several computers transferring large files or gaming. But if we want even more options, then we can access the configuration page through any computer where we will find additional settings which actually is my preferred way to configure any router not just this one but any router that I use although it is really nice to have the mobile app which is handy for quick tweaks the PC interface offers always a deeper control especially for tasks like copying IPs opening ports and all that situations so it's a router with a lot of options to choose from and specially designed for someone that really needs a strong network in 
a, I wouldn't say a large space, but a space like I do have right over here with up to seven devices connected. Of course, if we want to extend, then we can add a 2.5 gigabit uh, switch so that we can extend that network, but we will be limited to 2.5. Now, talking about limited, we have a 2.5 one as well. So we can have an internet connection up to 2,500 megabits per second. Just as an example, my internet connection is 500 megabits per second at this moment yes probably 1000 megabits per second is more or less the average of the normal user i'm thinking about upgrading to 10 gigabits but i still haven't made that jump so although we are limited to 2.5 gigs on each of the ports if we have several devices connected several people working on the same network seven people playing on the same network which will be limited to the one one port so we can't be seven of us with 20 gigabits bandwidth but if each one of us is connected to the internet doing a download we will not have the 20 gigs but the 2.5 so it's a router with a lot of room to progress and this means that on the same day even if you haven't ever set up a router this will be really really easy with a really aggressive look in terms of gaming so if you are a gamer probably you want to have one of these on your setup which looks awesome with a strong wireless performance on the same level with a break if we move to another floor or to another level which was the weakest point that i did find on this one but we can overcome that by adding a second unit and then using it as a mesh which we have seen already between Asus routers and we have seen with the same routers and with different routers. So if I want, I can connect a different Asus router with AI mesh and then have better speeds upstairs. So this will depend on our needs. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Hopefully you've enjoyed to meet this Asus ROG Strix GSBE18000 router. If that was the case, don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George and as always I'll see you on the next one.